Hey guys, today I'll be explaining and giving you a short video guide on how to level your tool crafting from skill level 1 to 30 in 7 days to die by night 5, and I'll also explain what to do after that if you want to have some info on how to survive your first 7 nights. Uh, because I don't want the video to be 2.5 hours, 3 hours long of me sitting on a rock hitting it forever, um, I will show you what you want to look for and what you should focus on early game if you want you know, 500 plus quality tools by night 5 or sooner depending on what your in-game day-night cycles are set to. Uh, default 50 minutes in real time is one day and night in-game. I keep mine set to 30 minutes though. All right. If you're asking yourself why you want um, high quality tools so early, it's because the higher quality your tools, the faster you can mine stone and cut trees. That's about it. And that ends up being really helpful for when you need to dig yourself a mine. So the first thing you want to do is look around really quick, see if there's any, like, you know, plain biomes around you, or deserts. Both are really useful, um, because they have cactus, and cactus give you a lot of fiber when you cut them, about 15, as opposed to, you know, grass that gives you two. So I don't, I'm in a forest, I don't see any, you know, plains around us. But we do have rocks, we have a lot of these rocks right here. We want these big boulders because they're a lot of stone, and they'll serve as our kind of like our house for the first night, or two, or three or four, depending on how fast and how much uh, resources you gather. So you're going to want to run around, grab some fiber, and you probably want to punch a couple trees to get some wood, and make an axe. The sooner you get an axe, the sooner you can start getting resources faster. And now you can either punch stones to get rock, which is kind of slow, or you can just kind of fight them on the ground like this one. You can also pick up cotton if you want goldenrod leaves, which is, this is cotton. This is a goldenrod for tea later on. And once you can make an axe, you can craft it up. You also start with a bottle of water, a bandage, and a torch. Um, torches do not attract zombies, which is good. Um, and that food should last you... Mm, until day four, hopefully. Um, after that, you want to probably want to try and find a source of water, like a, a lake to drink out of or something, if you have to. And even if you die, as long as you get your skill up first, you're pretty much good to go. The starting quest in the top right will also give you a good little starting point on what you should be making. Um, so after we make clothing, which you can do if you want to, it'll tell you to put the clothing on and then make some other stuff. One of which will be a bedroll. Bedrolls like your respawn points will help you later on. And before nighttime, your goal is to get up roughly one to two thousand wood and the same amount of fiber. Because you'll be spending your nights, like I said, on top of one of those stones mining it the entire night. Zombies shouldn't really be a problem because they're generally weak and they don't really come around to spawn early. So if you stay around wherever you spawn, you should be good to go. For a couple days at least. If you see animals, you probably can't kill them like that deer, unless it goes into like a lake or some kind of a pond because they get slowed down. Make sure you also leave any bird nests you find because they'll give you feathers for arrows later and eggs, which you can use to make bacon and eggs, which gives wellness back, which helps increase your max health and stamina. Make sure you do get a little bit of stone before your next axe breaks as well. Pick a new one, that's all. The first um, 10 points that we get, we want to put into our perk called Sexual Tyrannosaurus. So when you do level up uh, two times, you'll like, have 10 points to spend. And Sexual Tyrannosaurus increases your stamina regen by about 20%. So you can run around and explore more later. But you don't really want to spend any other points if you're following my guide and what I do to start my games because we'll be saving all those points to put into tool crafting later once we get to around level 30. Because that's when tool crafting slows down a lot. I'm not going to get all the wood and all the fiber like I said that you need, because I'm not going to make the video that long. Just want to make sure you guys know what you should be trying to do. So we have some wood, we have some stone, let's get a little fiber. Again, I don't have a desert nearby, so 
kind of sucks. But it's not too bad. We still get two fiber per grass. Alright, how much are we at now? We don't have much stone, but we do have a bunch of wood and a decent bit of fiber. So we're gonna find a nice little spot over here somewhere to set up our stuff. Uh, you probably want about three or four of these big boulders near you. That way you can hop across them from, you know, night to night. Each night, spend your time on a different boulder, that way you don't chisel it down too far and zombies can jump up to you. So get a little bit of stone and I'll show, show you what you should be doing next. Get like another, you know, 30 stone or so maybe. Not even that much. Also, while you're running around, keep an eye out for clay, because if you want a stone house by night uh, 7, so you can have good walls when the zombies attack, this is clay right here. You can see it because it looks like kind of like grass, but it's got like li li uh, lighter brown dirt in it and stuff. Uh, on your map, usually they're brown splotches. So that's clay right there. We're on top of clay now. And I actually do have a desert way up here, if you look. You can see the border of a desert or a plain. Make sure you always open your map too to check that, because sometimes the map can see farther than you can in the game, depending on your settings. Or band hills and stuff too. Alright, so we're trying to come back over here. And I usually like to make about four chests, because you're going to want to store all your shovels or axes, whatever you're making, in something. Because it's a lot faster to just shift, you can hold shift and left click all your tools that you make right into the chest. And it'll be you know, faster than trying to drop them one by one. Some people like to put them on top of frames, so you can break the frames after, pick the frames back up, and the chests will fall. Then everything in them will get deleted. I just slap mine on the ground because I don't really mind. So we're going to put ours here. I'm going to put all of our extra stuff in the top of this chest too. I'm not going to use it, it'll take up space. And then all you do is, you know, once you have your 2,000 fiber roughly, or 1,500, whatever you get, before nighttime, and your, your wood to match that, just find a nice rock to jump on, and then start going, going at it. You just want to get a bunch of stone, and then once you have a bunch of stone, you just want to make some stone shovels, or you can do axes. Um, the difference is that stone shovels give a bit more XP, but take one more of each material to craft, as you can see on the right. And axes take less time as well. They take three seconds less, take one less material, but they give a little bit less XP. Um, also, if you do use axes, whenever you have a full inventory of axes and a full hotbar, if you just drop your current axe, if you just choose to craft axes, it'll automatically craft one and put it in your hand again. So you don't have to worry about that. But I personally like shovels because they're slower. And I, can, I just dump them into a chest. It's no big deal for me. It's very easy to do. So I just get some stone and start crafting. Um, probably want to start crafting once you're on top of a rock at nighttime. You might want to also like, you know, start chopping off the rock where the zombies might be able to climb up in case one does come by. Um, as you're leveling up your tools, either shovels or axes, whatever you're crafting, they will get stronger in damage too. Um, so if a zombie attacks, you probably use a shovel, I think, because that's more entity damage. Let's see. So the shovel has 4, and this axe right now is 2.78. So I think shovels are actually better, but axes are slightly faster too. So it's your choice what you want to make. Um, that's about it. Um, by the time you get to 30 in your toolsmithing, you should probably be around 300 to 350-ish on your tools as the number quality. So it says like 6, 9, 12, 14. You want that to be like 300 to 350. Um, and then any skill points you've been getting for getting level ups, you can start to put into your skill after you get that high, because it'll slow down a lot after that. And again, high quality tools are really good. So you also want to make sure you have about a thousand clay before, you know, night five or six, whenever you decide to go make a house somewhere, and a thousand stone, because you're going to turn that together, you can make stone and clay into cobblestone rocks. And it takes 10 cobblestone rocks to fill one cobblestone frame.
and that'll give you a solid block of cobblestone, which is pretty good against um, the first seven, the first seventh night. So that's all you need to know, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, I do stream on Twitch, so if you want to watch that, feel free, and uh, see you guys later.